right now we're work, working very hard at the EBU trying to uh, to create these contingency plans together with uh, the host broadcaster in the Netherlands. First of all, we have scenario A, which is the song contest that we all love, that we are used to, and that is special every year. That's obviously what we're aiming for. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but, uh, but we're optimistic. But we're also realistic. And that means that we need to have a scenario in case social distancing is still a thing in May next year. Scenario B is sort of the social distancing song contest where you, uh, you have to stay uh, one and a half meters apart in accordance with Dutch guidelines. Uh, and the Eurovision Song Contest then may be a little bit different. And where it is different, we will come up with creative ideas to solve new challenges uh, and will anyhow be, uh, be very special. We also have to keep in mind that some uh, artists may not be able to travel to the Netherlands. You see that today, that due to travel restrictions, people cannot travel from one country to another. And we want to be prepared for that. So that's why together with the EBU, we are working on a way to make artists perform from their own country. You see that the Junior Eurovision Song Contest is now trying one way to do that. There are other ways to do it. Uh, and we're very keenly looking at how they do that uh, at Junior Eurovision, because I believe we can learn a lot from that. And scenario D, which we believe is increasingly unlikely, is a scenario that looks very much like what happened to us uh, earlier this year when we were all unpleasantly surprised by the coronavirus that started to dominate our lives and which was the reason that the Eurovision Song Contest had to be cancelled. So we said, this happened to us this year, we better be prepared for it next year. Fairness is always a top priority for, for the EBU and for everyone involved in the Eurovision Song Contest. It's, it's a complex topic because no matter how you sort of organize this, you can always you can always discuss whether this and that is 100% fair or not. We all have different resources when we host. We all have different capabilities when we participate. But uh, fr from our point of view, being the organizers of the event and the sort of the heads of the contest, we want to make sure that we have as an even playing field as we can. What we've already said is that we, we will come back with the show in 2021. Let there be no mistake in that. We've, we've uh, adapted our way of working. We've changed some of the things in the rules. We're, we're doing very comprehensive contingency planning to make sure that there is a contest, there is a winner, and there's a handover to a new country at the end of May, 2021.